How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is my regular Sunday blog. And by the way, if you'll notice from all my blogs, if you're watching it, that every single one of my, every single one of my blogs is consistent, coherent, truthful, honest, and it was never contradicted at any time by all these idiots who keep calling my blog, calling me names. Abuse is simple. Every every dumbbell and every moron could holler abuse and call your names, but not one of them ever gave any intelligent reason to disagree or deny the facts of anything I ever said, because everything I say is an absolute simple truth. I'd love to find one intelligent person to disagree with me about something sensible from one intelligent voice or a sensible voice. All obnoxious, sick, kind of incoherent maniacs. Let me tell you something about life that's more important to know than anything else. And it's important that I say this with compassion and love in my heart, because I kills me when I see how many people uh, defame and defy everything about America and can't wait to call America every kind of obnoxious, crude, ugly name that we are at fault somehow with the problems of the world and every time the terrorists kill and bomb and destroy people that somehow it's our fault. We, if not for our behavior, this never would have happened. These guilt-ridden, sick idiots, these helpless attitude that they have that comes from nothing but ignorance and stupidity and complexes. How sick do you have to be not to see the simple fact that every time a terrorist commits any kind of crime, it has nothing to do with us. If somebody is a sick maniac or is a, a murderer, is it necessarily your fault? Is every mugger that kills innocent people, is it necessarily your fault? Is it every time America's fault when we have given the largesse of our power and our money to every country in the world? Nobody has helped more people in floods and disasters than America. It's always 90% American money. In foreign aid, it's all American money. Everybody says we did this for oil. We did nothing for oil. If we wanted to c collect anything from oil in Iraq, we've got to win, take over the oil fields and get all the oil and protect the rest of the country from nothing, just protect the oil and take the money. We never took a cent of that oil and we never got anything out of it. And that's an example of the sick, moronic idiocy that you hear from people who keep blaming America. All the poverty in the world is our fault because we exploited them. We exploited nobody. That's 200 years ago. And the English and the Dutch and other people exploited them. America has been giving for the last hundred years nothing but money freely to all the people of the world. Help, aid of all kinds. Take a look at the doctors in the, right now with those English doctors who had every privilege in the world. They graduated college when they were practically 11. They were given university educations for nothing. They, they respect the Muslim tradition and religion more than anything in the world. They keep being getting homage to them every day all over London. They, have, they don't have the kind of freedom in any country in the world where they come from like they have in England. What have they got against England? Why would they be bombing that country? It's the same lunatics that would be bombing this country. These are mindless people dedicated to a religious fanaticism and there's nothing we could do to stop it on a rational basis and there's nothing we could give enough to them to put a stop to it. Because there's nothing that they want from us or need from us except hate. They have hate for us and we are the helpless victims of that vicious, violent, maniacal, irrational hate. That's all it is. Why can't you believe it? You ever saw a nut who wants to kill people? If it could happen to one person, it could happen to a collective group of people. Did the Nazis need an excuse to start killing people all over the world? Is it our fault that the Nazis came about? In Rwanda, there's maniacs killing each other where hundreds of millions of people died. Is that our fault too? They weren't complaining about us, they were killing each other. Why is it always America's fault? And when are you people going to stop imagining it's America? These doctors are very wealthy, comfortable people. And, the, and, the, and England can't stop catering to every one of them. Look how the Prime Minister of England is afraid to even say the word terrorism. You're not allowed to say terror. While they're killing people, you're not allowed to even identify it. Not only do they have a right to kill you, but you're not allowed to mention it. It's as if somebody was hitting you over the head with a pipe, but you shouldn't mention the white pipe because maybe you'll be insulted. <laughs> he didn't start hitting you in the first place because of anything you said, so why would you make it moist by recognizing them? You're not even allowed to mention the Holocaust in England because they might be insulted that they might have had something to do with hearing or doing anything about the Holocaust. It reminds people that somehow the Jews were persecuted and they're not supposed to hear about it. We are terrorized from them. They are terrorizing us. We never terrorize them. They are terrorizing everybody else for what? For nothing. For why? Because of the simple pleasure that their religion gives them. Kill people, destroy everybody, and your life will go to heaven. They go to heaven from killing people, and it's our fault. We don't go to heaven from killing anybody. We go to heaven according to our religion, whether it's Christian or Jew or anybody else, from only one thing.
goodness and kindness and help and compassion, and that's what we're dedicated to. And only a moron would disagree with us. Send me one letter about why I'm wrong, and I'll find you. <laughs> well, I won't find you exactly. You might be a tall person. I don't want to take chances. <laughs>